And people are getting ready for those torrential rains overnight. Other flood prone areas like the Housatonic River at the Stevenson Dam in Oxford could also see major issues. Meteorologist Lauren Richardson is actually live there right now this afternoon with more on that. Lauren? Yeah, Kara, this area actually behind me is actually in a flood warning and prone to major issues. Residents around this area are preparing for this upcoming storm. So let's take a look at some video, too, of the Stevenson Dam specifically. The river here is expected to rise above flood stage just after midnight and continue rising to a crest of about 15 feet early tomorrow afternoon. I talked to Oxford Fire Department Chief Scott Pelletier about this specific area. They have been checking in with residents along Lai low-lying areas of Route 34. Pelletier says a lot of these residents have left already ahead of the storm. They've also been asking some to move trailers, boats, and whatever they can to higher ground. So, what do you do if you live in a flood-prone area? What can you do, actually? He says if you have areas of snow around your home or near basements uh, or windows or doors, it's best to clear that away from to help water piling into your basement overnight. He mentions to also unplug anything electrical in your basement in case residents around the area are worried about the storm. Our basement actually has been flooding um, and it's nothing compared to like what's supposed to be coming. So I definitely am concerned that we will be getting soaked again and what's going to happen to our basement. We've had large amounts of rain in short periods of time which bring the, the river up uh, pretty quick because they need to control water flow through the dam. And you know some of the low-lying residents you know have had water in their yards more often than not this year uh, and even last year uh, towards the end of the year and you know they're they're getting kind of uh, done with it all right yeah as you can see that rain is really picking up and the wind as well so they're gonna have extra volunteers on staff throughout the overnight tonight uh, on call just in case anything does happen and at 5 30 we're gonna be telling you more about the wind issues and how they're planning to deal with that so live tonight from oxford i'm meteorologist lauren richardson channel 3 eyewitness news